The following film provides an insight of seven different settings that contain episodes of injecting drug use. The seven places in this film typify street-based public and semi-public locations throughout the UK and the Republic of Ireland. Places similar to these are used by injecting drug users on a daily basis for the purposes of administrating drugs such as heroin and crack cocaine. The filmmakers visited all seven places in this video with injecting drug users and outreach workers. All locations were recorded in the cities throughout England and the Republic of Ireland. The information and quotes attached to the seven places were provided by drug users during research interviews about their experiences of injecting in such places. The words and quotes involved in the making of this film have been spoken on behalf of those interviewed. Drug using environments in street based settings increase and establish harms associated with injecting drug use. This film aims to visualise how the environmental settings of such places contributes towards harm production. In the following seven environments, viewers should take note of the lack or complete absence of amenity that may assist in applying the most basic of harm reduction practices, especially in the places that you are about to see.
For me, heroin is not a social drug, you know. It's just not. I just don't want to sit there with anyone. The whole thing about heroin for me is the nothingness of it. You know, the total obliteration, so you haven't got any problems. But they just go away for half an hour or an hour or so. You don't really want anyone chatting in your ear at that time. You just want to be asleep, basically. I suppose it's the closest thing to being dead without actually being dead. That's how police know that you've been going places that have been used regularly for injecting. When they find loads of needles lying around, spoons, bits and bobs and that, and they think, all right, people come here often, so we'll watch this place because heroin users come here all the time. So if you clear up all your stuff after you, then you know that you can go there again and do it because no one's gonna know. It's a bigger space, you can sit on the floor and do it. You're not cramped up in a tiny cubicle worried that if a policeman comes into the toilet he can see your feet hanging out underneath the cubicle door. Cause you're kneeling down next to the toilet trying to sort out your stuff. But inside disabled toilets you're on your own and you've got fresh water in the tap. Needle and syringe centre would be better. That would be safe. But I wouldn't say toilets are safe. I wouldn't say anywhere is more, more or less safe than another, except if you're with the professionals who can watch what you're doing. You know those, um, what we do, I just want to go around your way, you know, it's been raining and 